Are you good to, uh, talking while painting? Yeah. <laughs> what should I talk about? Start now? Yes. Okay, yeah, my name is Felipe. Felipe okay. Gomez. Yes. So you can find me on Instagram at Felipe Gomez Art. Originally from Colombia. Been in the US about 20 years now or so. And um, yeah, I have been seriously painting for about a year and a half now. Um, I've always been interested in the arts. Um, I just never took the plunge of like really taking the risk and going for it full blown. Uh, it's a hard thing to do, <clears throat> especially in a capitalist society where you have to make money and you have to um, make a living. And that kind of puts a little bit of fear inside of you of like, okay, like, am I making the right decision or, or not? Like, what should I be doing? Should I just be focusing on making as much money as I can and making sure I have a 401k and mm -hmm. uh, everything that comes with the corporate world? Like, so what, like third, fourth, fifth, sixth grade, I kept kind of like doodling in class. Mm -hmm. And um, I took all the art classes I could and just had a bunch of hobbies. I had like, um, I was playing soccer, I was skateboarding, I was playing music, you know, I didn't, didn't really know what to do, I was <laughs> kind of trying it all, um, but there was something about painting that just really made me feel at home, you know, it just made me feel happy, and uh, it's a process that makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something, so the way I think about it, it's like a, it's like a roller coaster of of emotions and problem solving mm. and um, at the end you have this full piece that you've created based on like what you thought and what you came up with in your head um, so I just always knew that I wanted to paint I wanted to make art I wanted to create and every time I do it um, I feel extremely happy I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and I've always kind of been interested in like telling a story of um, how beautiful people are inside. Mm. Uh, we get so focused on um, our appearances and how we come off to others, and uh, we forget to think that about like the the real reason is why we're here. You know, like it's not to have a job and to. Uh, exactly. make money and um, live in that world it's mostly to the way I think it is is to enjoy every day and um, part of that is living to your truest self um, so there's a lot of beauty inside of people and that's what I want to show I want to show potential I want to show I want to inspire people to follow their dreams, um, pursue what really moves them in life, and I think that is one of the things that really moves me, really makes me want to create art, is trying to help other people and help myself find my meaning, you know, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's hard to, um, it, it's a hard thing to find meaning in life, and a lot of people our age talk about that and think about that all the time. And for me, it's art. Mm -hmm. um, I really appreciate what it brings to me, uh, the process of creating, the people uh, it allows me to meet, uh, surround myself with, uh, the events, the community. It's one of those beautiful things that just brings us all together and it has been around for thousands of years so I, I just want to be a part of that I want to be a part of something that helps people helps society helps me um, and I think that I, I can do that with art um, you know wow. um, yeah so I'm currently working on this wood um, piece mm -hmm. um, it's a female and my last uh, few wood pieces have been centered around uh, female divinity. Um, I the, the first piece that I made was I called it Shen, and that was kind of me honoring, 
being grateful for the, the beauty and the fertility and the, the togetherness that, that women bring to this world. They, they know the nourishment, uh, not just to our bodies, but to our minds. Without women, there would be nothing. There'd be no, there would be no men. Without the woo, there's no men. Um, so I always wanted to kind of honor that as I was raised uh, in a family um, with lots of women and um, was given a lot of love and I just want to share that love that they gave me uh, with the world. And it's, I like to paint someone who has a story, who has something to say, who has been through something special in life and uh, gives us a sense of meaning through what they've experienced. Um, whether that's someone in the streets or a friend of mine, somebody that uh, I can find something beautiful in, which is most people. Um, so we're all beautiful. There's always something special about all of us. You just have to tap into that. Um, there's that. It's a way to tell a story um, like we had before books and we've been we continued uh, using paints to tell these stories and uh, one thing that I like about that is that I mean Homo sapiens came to be because they had this sense of uh, community and the, the ability to tell a story that's what um, uh, differentiated them from the Neanderthals and what was that? Like it was through painting, okay? communication, different things. So I want to have an impact on people around me, in society. I want to leave the world a better place than how it was given to me. Yeah, no. Uh, thanks for doing this. Thanks for having <laughs> me. I appreciate all of this. I'm glad I have met you guys at Art Island.